second one, which is the stress. We are talking about stress and why is stress so important? So I talk about the five buttons to push, which is number four. So the higher the stress level of a person, what would happen? So chronic stress that can be caused by inadequate sleep, can be caused by poor nutrition, can be caused by emotional distress. All this creating something that um, increase a stress hormone, which is glucocorticoids, okay? And it changed the cellular structure in the hippocampus. It brings down the attention. It brings down the ability to perceive in, uh, things around us. It brings down short-term memory, brings down learning, and brings down word finding. And this is a vicious cycle. Our amygdala is a very, very sensitive organ in our brain that can receive emotion. And what kind of emotion that it perceives the most? It's most sensitive to fear. When a child started to fall back behind their peers when they have difficulty in understanding a subject in school then they will start to see the subject as a threat and they start being afraid of the subject that they are learning so they are seeing it as a threat so the threat actually elicit amygdala and what happened if the amygdala perceived fear it will start to have a cascading reaction that actually can cause brain damage. So we talked about cortisol earlier. It's a stress hormone. The stress hormone actually can do something that is um, very, very bad. Actually, it is a body, uh, it's supposed to be body mechanism to equip us in um, flight or fight mode. But when it is chronically um, being um, pressed, when chronically um, exacerbated, what happened is that it can cause brain damage by suppressing the immune system. Brain damage is such a harsh term. It is not likely that you will find lesions or hole in your brain if you are being negative for a year or having a very strict teacher or having parents who's screaming and yell at you every day. But there is a bigger mechanism at work where negativity affects your overall health, which in turn can affect your brain again. So because our human are so full of this kind of feedback mechanism, um, this is actually a very simplified picture on how cortisol um, affects um, our immune system. So the cortisol is, um, your, you see our body has a type 1 T cell and type 2 T cell, which is the humoral and the, um, and the cellular body mechanism. And the thing is that these two types are constantly shifting based on threat. And one becomes dominant then settles back into balance. Cortisol or stress kind of messes that up. And under the effect of cortisol, there's a shift toward the type 2 um, T cell. And then this is something that it actually can cause more destruction of using the immune system to attack ourselves. And I thought that this is so important to know because negativity and the stress that accompanies it, it's always um, is have so much um, bad implication on our children's um, brain health. Okay, so this is a paper that shows that when immune system subjugates the brain, um, we will find inflammation to sickness and depression. That's the reason actually why some children, when they really feel that school is so threatening to them, they started developing sickness, they start having tummy pain, they have fever, they have all sorts of um, feeling sick. Just the thought of school is so threatening to them. 
Okay, so any damage in a specific area of the brain will have consequences in the function they represented. So some of these children have it so bad that they actually have inflammation in a certain part of the brain. And inflammation in certain part of the brain can cause injury in that part of the brain. So let's say when something happened in the parietal lobe, the ones that affected is a comprehension of language. If the um, temporal lobe is affected, then it is their intellectual and emotional function that's affected. The frontal lobe controls judgment, foresight, voluntary movement. Our executive functions are all in the frontal lobe. If the frontal lobe affected, then most of the times, actually their ability to think is also affected.